sit. So when you're going to do this exercise, the stationary mat exercise, always make sure he sits first and waits for your permission to go to the mat on a loose leash. Always keep, keep it loose. Never restrain him like that because the t leash tension will start to make him nervous and stressed out. So always keep it loose. Nope. If he jumps the gun like that, you say no. You do a little circle. He's got a big anticipation problem. He's a very jumpy, jittery little guy, so you're always going to be working on his anticipation issues. But this is a great way to do it. You need to show him, hey, if you want to do this, you need to have self-control and really wait until I allow you. There's no jumping the gun. If you allow him to jump the gun, you're going to, it's all going to go away. You're going to have nothing. So this is the essence of the training. He really waits for you. He's in the moment with us right now waiting for you to give him the command. Not, not going, yeah, 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 I know what you're about to let me do and then doing it anyway. That's not training. This is him, this right now, he's waiting for me to really, see how I'm even hovering there to make sure he's waiting? I'm gonna pat his chest and say, go to your mat, and then down, say down when he's on the mat, and then even if you never let go of the leash, you can still get a lot done because you can you want to reward him by putting on the reward on the mat like that. Good. He takes it off the mat. So you can just hold on to the leash and walk around. Even just having this kind of downstay where he accepts you walking behind him, that's, that's a really good thing. Also, if you do that and he does it successfully, you want to reward him again. Good. Also, you can pull on the leash like this. Most dogs, when you pull on the leash, they'll get up and come to you. But he knows better than that. Good. He knows there's only one way he leaves this mat, and that's when you release him. No matter what else happens, he knows he's going to stay there. If he ever makes a mistake and gets up, like if he just stands up but stays on the mat, let's say that you've even dropped the leash and you're walking farther away, he stands up, you say no, pick up the leash, put him, just do that with your foot, he'll go back down. If he leaves the mat, Let's say that you're in your living room or someplace and you walked far away and you came and he got up. Let's say he even comes over to you or he, wherever he is. You go pick up the leash. You, you say no. You pick up the leash. You walk into him like this. He's going to be on your left as usual. You walk him back onto the mat where you want him. Step on the leash and put him back. And all you said was no. You don't say down again. You already said down once the first time you sent him there. See how he's moved off the mat? I'm going to reposition him. Okay. It's that left turn that resets him wherever you go, wherever you're doing, down. You want to do those left turns. Always turn left into him. He'll fall right into there. It's like a simple dance he does with you. And he knows exactly what that means. If you turn left, he'll turn with you. And you see me doing it a lot with, uh, with all of his training. So this mat exercise you can do anywhere, inside, outside. You only drop the leash if you're inside the house or you're in a fenced yard. If you're doing it out in your front area, you never drop the leash for obvious reasons because if he ever gets away, then you may not be able to catch him. So just do these kinds of things every time that he does it successfully. Come back from in front like this. Good. Reward him. He waits until you put it on the mat and then withdraw. Then he takes it off the mat. When you want to release him off this mat, you pick up the leash, stand back next to him, pat your leg and say, okay, he'll come off the mat, sit, always have him sit. Everything starts and ends with a calm sit stay. You started that exercise with a sit stay, you allowed him on the mat, you brought him off the mat and you end it with a calm sit stay, you release him out of the calm sit stay, not out of the down stay. Go, you're free and you don't let him go back to the mat. He's going to want to go back there and use it as a doggy bed. This mat is only for this exercise, so it goes down right before you start, So he, and he's already on a leash or in his, in his crate, and then before he's loose in the house, you pick it up and put it away. It makes it even more powerful because it's a very exclusive spot he can only go to with your permission. And this mat is the foundation exercise to everything. Because for that five minutes a day you do this mat exercise, he's focused on you, he's waiting for you to come back, he's staying in a downstay no matter what you do, where you go, no matter what noises come up. And it's, it just ties in with all the other training and makes it all the rest of the training much more powerful. So you want to do this mat exercise every day for at least five minutes.